Hi everyone, today I am at an estate sale by myself, uh, which is probably like the first I think for me. But I'm really excited. I don't think we've ever been to this company before, so I don't know what to expect, but let's go on in. Yeah, so we never went to any estate sales done by this company before. And I don't know if it's a common practice for them to have things outside under a tent or if this was just this situation. But there was an entire tent full of stuff outside. You could have an estate sale of just the stuff that was outside underneath this tent. I think a lot of this was taken from the garage of the sale because you'll see later on I do go into the garage and there was a lot of stuff in there. I came across some buttons that it looked like to me they must have been looked through already, but they were still fun to see. I thought that this Passion Party Coco Lopez passion fruit button was cool. I thought these books were really cute. I didn't capture it too much, but I did end up picking some of those up. Here's the garage. There was really packed, but they had definitely taken a lot of stuff out. People were looking through everything. And I did find these G.I. Joe like backer cards and pamphlets. I didn't pick them up because I felt like this company was a little pricey on some of the toys and uh, collectible toys. So I decided I'm not going to pick them up. You also needed to pay for all the items from outside with the company uh, outside. And since I hadn't gone inside yet, I didn't want to get too many things and, you know, basically spend all my money outside. There was a whole entire bin of Briar ponies, uh, which I'm doing a great job of showing you right here. But they were asking $25 a horse, which is kind of the going rate. Um, so I didn't pick those up, but now I'm inside and this is the reason why I went to this sale. There is a Santa pitcher and mug set, which I couldn't believe was still here after the sale had been going on for a few hours. Figured it must have been priced really high. That's why it's there. But actually it was only $35, which is a really, really good price. These pitcher sets can easily sell at estate sales for like 60 plus so I was definitely like I should pick this up but I honestly didn't have anything to put it in so right here I'm kind of like figuring out well is it in good shape should I really pick it up I don't have anything to put the mug set in so what am I doing and uh, ultimately I was like okay I gotta make a sacrifice here I'm gonna like try and find a box and put them in because I gotta get it. So now that I have an entire pitcher and mug set to lug around in this tiny basement, I decide to get on my hands and knees and look through the Pez that are on the floor. Um, which, you know, there were, uh, there were a lot of Pez. They were definitely looked through already. I could tell just by the way they were like thrown across the floor and kind of just in piles. This box looked like it had seen better days, but I found some really cool Pez and I can't wait to show you at the end of the video during the haul. It was really sad to see that some of these like cards and the Pez have like fallen off of each other because they're really cool and it would have been cool to pick up some of them. But you know, obviously with the age of these and the way they were stored, they're just not gonna hold up and stay together. And I'm obviously looking for any Halloween Pez that I could find. Um, there were so many to look through. Uh, a lot of them were the same, but I did have fun regardless of whether I was looking through the same Pez over and over again. Here I did find some Halloween ones that were out of the package. Obviously I had to take those home. Another thing that I had to take home were these pumpkin pails. I couldn't believe those were just sitting there. Two dollars a piece, no pumpkin left behind, have to take those. As far as the rest of the Halloween stuff, there wasn't really anything else that I wanted. Um, those two pumpkins were definitely the find. There was some random kiss stuff hanging out there. I don't know if that was meant to be at the Halloween table or not, but yeah, just really cool stuff. Now let's go look at the Christmas section. There wasn't a whole lot for me here. Uh, most of it was pretty new, maybe like early 2000s, late 90s, Santas, stuff like that. Nothing that Laura and I collect, so I didn't pick anything else up. 
I thought this M&M pin set was pretty cool, but it was $15 and I don't know if that's a good price. So this really reminded me of being a kid. This is a Midge and Baby Barbie clothing set. So cool to see in the original packaging, but they were charging $8. I feel like it was probably only worth about 10 to 15, so I didn't pick it up. I thought this guy was cool. I don't know what it is, but I thought he had a funny face. So this is something I've never experienced before. There was some uh, adult viewing material uh, in a bag that um, just like in the basement. Normally at estate sales, that stuff is like kept with the company behind like, you know, glass or something. But um, this is the first time I just like stumbled upon it. Um, definitely something different and uh, not, not really what I wanted to see. So this homeowner was super into beer cans. They had a whole basement room dedicated to beer cans and all different types and all different years. There were some dating back to the 70s all the way to present day. It was really cool. It's something that Laura and I both don't know that much about. So seeing all of these in one place, it was a little overwhelming because I don't know like what to look at or what to pick up, but um, you know, it. I eventually learned a few things and I found some really cool kind of Halloween type beer cans. It was very dark in this basement, so having my light on my phone while I was recording was very helpful to see all of these different cans, but it was super overwhelming. As you could see, there were hundreds of cans on the wall just all different cans from all different places. There were some international ones. There were some from different states. Obviously, they were just a true can collector and just a fan of them, I guess. It was really interesting to see such a expansive collection of something that's not holiday because obviously that is what Laura and I love and that's what our collection is. So it's kind of cool to see what other people love and will decide to like devote an entire room to. I thought this was cool, this little atomic, I don't know, is this a creamer gravy boat? I don't know what it is, but it was pretty cool. It was just a little uh, too pricey for me and I don't want to pick up too much because I already have a little pile growing upstairs. Okay guys, I don't know how clear that was, but I actually went back in for a second time because there was so much stuff. And I'm glad I did because I found some really cool things. I'm going to give you a little peek. I saw some really cool cans that you probably saw. Also these Lennox ornaments. And then, you guys didn't see this, but I found some cool magazines. So I can't wait to show you guys and show Laura back home. Alright Janine, what did you get at the estate sale? It sounds like it was a pretty good one from what you told me. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I do want to say something though. I know I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to estate sales and stuff like that. So this sale was so close to where we live. I was like, I gotta go. And I went- It was like really close. Yeah. And I thought, I gotta go, right? I gotta go there. But I went the first day, but I didn't go like the first, like I was not on the list. Let's just say that. I went a few hours after they opened. So it was a lot more calm. And that's kind of my jive lately. I'm not gonna go like Russian anymore. But anyway, back to what we got or I got. I of course had to pick up these two pumpkin pails. No pumpkin left behind. When I saw these, priced for only $2 each, I knew I had to pick them up. These are a little bit harder to find, pumpkin pails, especially the smaller one here. Um, you can tell these are old by the fact that they have these riveted handles and the fact this is a wide and flat handle. Janine, these are great, especially this diamond eyed one. I know you said the small one is rare, but so is this mm -hmm. diamond eye variety. Uh, we do not come across them often. These are not marked, but they're definitely from the 70s, early 80s. And for two bucks a piece, I think that is quite a score. I don't think I captured this on camera, but look at this tin. I love the color and the fact that this is a mint little, ex what is it called? Exotic mints? Exotic mint puffs. <laughs> mint puffs. How cute. Had to pick this up. I think this will look great uh, for like a Christmas display, mm -hmm. don't you think? Or Easter, very Easter. -y. Easter, yeah. So there were a ton of cans at the sale. I don't know a lot about beer cans or actually I don't know anything about beer cans, but I decided to look up some cans that I thought were interesting. I found these three 
in particular interesting. There's this one on top. It is, uh, I guess, University of Georgia um, mascot. As is this one at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Janine showed me some of the listings and the Georgia ones are worth a little bit. The Badger Beer 1983 is a different, I think it's Wisconsin. Yeah, they're actually worth a little bit of money. Um, it, I The cans have been picked through too. Like I saw like some guys who like clearly knew about cans. They were like, oh, get the whole set. The whole set's worth $100. Wow. I was like, set of what? <laughs> um, <laughs> we did in our research learn that Princeton beer cans are the ones to look out for. They can sell for $30 to $50 a piece, which that's is pretty cool. amazing. Yeah. If there were any cans in, in the video that... I should have picked up let us know because that is a whole world that we have no idea about but wait Janine you did pick up some more I did I also picked up a little baggie of cans oh my goodness you have so many <laughs> <laughs> look at that one I thought that would be really fun to use for Halloween this is a newer can I believe it's from 2012 but look at that great for Halloween so fun I thought this one was also great for Halloween. This is like a Christmas and Halloween crossover and I absolutely love it. Speaking of Christmas, look how cute this oh can is. Oh my gosh, is. this is so cute. It's from Iowa Winter Sports Festival. A bit older. Yep, 1980. Yep. Wow. So cool. Oh my goodness. How fun is this can? That is so fun. And you can turn it that way too. I just thought this was too cool to pass up. Had to get it. Great for Halloween. What a classic can obviously i mean what are we gonna do with this laura display it display it for halloween of course. but this one is my absolute favorite can that i found how cool is that it is amazing i absolutely love it it's from jersey which is pretty cool too um it's giving me like mr magoo vibes i <laughs> love it what a great find janine thanks i also picked up this garbage pail kids thing i don't know if it originally had a stamp on the bottom or what it was but it is marked 1985 i thought that was pretty cool i picked up two cassettes this one is kylie minogue uh, locomotion and it is a single and it's actually worth like $15, wow. which is pretty cool. How do you know these things, Janine? I don't know. So I bought four of those uh, books that were outside in the outside tent area, but we had a whatnot sale and I sold one. So I only have three to show you, um, but these are really, really cool. They're fabric books from the 50s. Yeah. And they're really cute and uh, yeah. They're like brand new. It was interesting the way the sale was set up. There was some stuff outside, which you had to pay outside for. And there was stuff inside, which you paid inside for. And the stuff that was outside, um, maybe I felt that it was priced a little higher than stuff inside. And maybe I didn't. But um, that's to that's, be determined um, at a later date. Uh, should I write Doggo after dark? <laughs> Betty Crocker's Cookie Cookbook is such a classic and is actually worth about... 20 25 dollars well i'll say 15 to 25 depending condition um on ebay so i saw this for two dollars i thought great deal gotta get it and um yeah so i picked it up oh my goodness janine halloween pez i'm really yes. excited because the last estate sale we went to remember i tried to buy a whole bag and she wanted 50 dollars i hope you didn't pay like five dollars each for these no they were <laughs> i hate telling you the actual price they were two for a dollar <laughs> <laughs> That's like what I was hoping to pay at that estate yeah. sale, so um, I'm glad you got them. Yeah, and uh, I was actually really surprised because I was kind of, I was when I saw it, I was thinking about that moment at that other estate sale, and I was like, oh my goodness, how much are these? And then I saw on a box that said, um, Pez, two for a dollar, and I was like, okay. Just goes to show you, if you wait a little bit, it'll yeah, come around. It'll come back yep. around. So here are some of the Halloween Pez classic designs in the package, and I got some out of the package as well. Obviously had to pick up all of the Halloween Pez that I saw. Oh so my I, goodness. I, I need to share something. This one I thought was a pumpkin when I was, was buying it. Because I can see that. I only, I made sure to get Garfield uh, on the oh. backer card um, rather than a little plastic. So I think that's kind of funny that I thought this was a jack-o'-lantern from the side. I can see it then. <laughs> so this blew my mind. I got this one and I got this one, but they're different sizes. Big boy and small boy. So maybe different years, I guess. I don't know which one's older. I was thinking maybe this one. Um, I have to do more research. Like Pez, there's like so 
many different things to like look into and learn about. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of learning. But how cool is that? I didn't find that many witches. Um, the Pez were obviously picked over by the time that I saw them, but uh, I, I'm happy that I found what I did. And look at this guy, he's pretty different. I bet he glows in the dark. Definitely. I got something really exciting to show you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, Murple? Normal. Oh. <laughs> I just thought, how cute. What is that? I don't know, isn't this strange? Pez Magic Candy Dispenser. Magic. Pretty cool. It's a mystery. Stop. This is the reason I went to the sale. Also, and, uh, our veggie straws are there. Sorry, we're... Sorry, anyway. We're going somewhere, uh, you'll find is out. Is that for a road trip? Anyway, oh my goodness, Janine. This, um, this is the what? reason I had to go to the sale and I couldn't believe that it was still there after a couple hours. The sale was already going on and it was right where it was in the photos. And it was thirty five dollars. Wait, are there cups? It came with four oh, Santa mugs. Oh my goodness. Now this particular Santa pitcher and mug set is not marked. Um, it's a, you know, it's a more common set, but um, definitely mid-century yeah and they're and they're getting harder to find yeah. at the state sales that's another reason why i couldn't believe that it was still there um pretty much all the mugs are in the same condition as this one let me go grab them this is great janine so this is a mid-century 1950s 1960s santa pitcher uh, made in japan most likely maybe a lefton or a napco very very sought after these sets if you have a cute one like this guy can sell for close to or over a hundred dollars for the whole set even with the paint loss these are very very sought after i do have a few sets myself um and wow i yeah i can't believe that it was still there at this price too i'm like clanking the glass <laughs> so we have wow. two and two look at them all together that's great i found some really cool stuff when i went back into the house look at this jethro tull button pin very cool how cool is that i also found some 80s magazines wow. how cool are these magazines i picked up a lot with ozzy osbourne on the cover this one's really cool because it's october 31st i mean that sounds like a pretty cool day if you if you know what i mean laura i like that day yeah very cool i got some more ozzy ah queen freddie mercury from 1980 and Rush from 1982. Very, very cool. Oh, another Aussie <laughs> peeping out at you like Aussie does. 1982. Very cool, Janine. Aren't these cool? Definitely something different to find. And like, I just want to like look through them. I think they're so cool. Janine, let me just say, maybe you should go to estate sales by yourself more often. I don't know about that. Leave me behind because <laughs> if you're going and picking up picture sets. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thanks so much for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel if you aren't already and leave a comment. Did I leave anything behind that you would have picked up? We'd love to know in the comments. And uh, if you really enjoyed the video, like it as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.